more space equals more games. We're going to add some more storage to this old gaming laptop. Hey everybody, it's Chris from Family Geekery, and I'll apologize again up front for my voice. Still trying to get over a little bit of a cold, but I feel great. So uh, just bear with me as I sound a little funky for a while. But today we're going to be looking at this Lenovo Legion Y520 laptop. It's got decent specs for its age, but it's only got 250 gigs of storage. So we're going to open this up. I'm going to show you a couple different ways to add some storage to it. While we're in there, we're going to look at the RAM too. I think we've got enough RAM with this one. But in case you need to know how to upgrade your RAM, I'll show you how to do that. So to get this done, we're just going to need a simple screwdriver. I'm going to use a Phillips Zero bit from my trusty Serbito toolkit. If you're going to be upgrading laptops or working on computers, get yourself a decent screwdriver kit. I'm not sponsored at all by them, but I've been using this for years. And I've never come up against a project that didn't have the right bit for. So go ahead and grab one of those. I got a link down in the description below. But just a simple Phillips bit. And this kit also has a magnetic screw holder. So I'm going to go ahead and do that because we've got 13 screws on the back side of this we need to remove. So let's flip this over. So to remove this bottom lid here, we've got 13 little tiny Phillips screws all around here. So I'm going to go ahead and take those off and I'll be back when I'm done. All right, so I got all the screws out here. And I'll be honest with you, the uh, three in the middle here, this one, this one, and that one, were deep enough holes that this bit wasn't making it in because of the holder. So I just used a cheap little thing just to get it started. And then once I got it started and loose, then I went ahead and popped that in there just to use the magnetic tip and it came right out. Now, once you get all the screws out, then it's just a matter of popping this off. And I use something like this, like a pry tool that also comes in that Strabido kit. And you just find yourself an edge and just start somewhere and just pop it open and then just work your way around and eventually it's just going to come right off. So now that we're in, let's go ahead and take a look inside. All right, now one thing I forgot to mention, before you do any of this, before you take the cover off, do a full shutdown on the computer. Don't just put it to sleep. Go ahead and go into Windows and do a full shutdown. That way there's nothing running, nothing going to wake up while you're working on it. Now since we're inside here, it's a good idea always to disconnect the battery before you start touching anything and that's this lead right here I'm just gonna poke around in here a little bit without doing that for right now but it's always best practice to do so so we got three things we want to look at here one is the memory and that's underneath this little shield here and I'm gonna use something non-conductive to open that up it's got a little arrow right here that says that this is the DDR4 shield so I'm just gonna pop this in here pry this up a little bit and then you can find your RAM in here. Now, like I said, this has 16 gigs of RAM already, but if you did want to upgrade this, maybe it only had eight. Um, you can just go ahead and pop these little side wings here out and they pop right up. Take one out, take the second one out. And then when you play, replace it, just look at the offset notch here and then place it back in. I usually put it in about a 45 degree angle, wiggle it back and forth a little bit until you know it's fully seated and then hold a little pressure inward while you push it down and lock it past these ears again. So that takes care of the RAM. We've got a space over here that could be a second hard drive, like a two and a half inch drive like this. But on this particular model, there's looks like no mounting hardware and no SATA cable. So that's no good for us. And then lastly, we've got the NVMe drive right here, nice and easy to get to. So to change this out, to upgrade it or whatever you want to do with it, it's simply held with one screw right here. So we can just remove that screw. And then this socket here, you're just gonna lift slightly up and wiggle back and forth and it comes right out. Once you get a new drive, you're gonna match up this notch in the same direction and you're gonna push it in, wiggle it in until it fully seats. And then once you set it down, you'll be able to put the screw right back in. And it's that easy. So for this particular laptop here, I was hoping to add a one terabyte hard drive over here because it's already got a 250 gig SSD here running Windows, but it looks like I'm just gonna have to upgrade this instead. So let's pop the shield back on here. 
and let me go take a look to see if I've got a bigger drive. All right, so I've got a Crucial P3 one terabyte SSD drive, and this is an NVMe drive, not a SATA drive. So you wanna make sure you get the right kind. And like I said, we're just gonna look at the offset notch here. Just gonna pop it in here, wiggle it in until it's fully seated, and then replace that set screw. So now we're ready to pop the back back on and before I put all the screws in I'm going to go ahead and boot it up and I'm going to boot it up with a USB drive that has Windows 10 installation media on there and just to make sure we can recognize the drive make sure the computer recognizes the drive before I put all those 13 screws back in and then once I know it's good to go we'll start installing Windows 10. Alright before I boot into Windows I did just go into BIOS uh, by booting up the computer and hitting F2 until the BIOS screen came up. And I do see on here hard disk, and it's got some information, so I'm pretty confident that it sees it. So let's go ahead and shut this down and get that Windows 10 boot disk. All right, so I made a little USB drive here using the Microsoft Windows media creation tool, and it's got Windows 10 installer on here. So I'm gonna step through these uh, install steps, and I'll be back when I'm done. All right, so I got Windows installed on the new hard drive just perfectly. And it's going to be downloading some updates for a while. So while it does that, it's a good time to talk about this guy, the old drive that was in there. So what do we do with that? Do we just throw it away, pop, toss it on the shelf? Um, what I suggest you do is grab something like this. This is just an NVMe enclosure. has a USB cable that plugs in here. It becomes just a super fast thumb drive for you. So I've got a whole video on why I use these versus thumb drives. I can link that right up here somewhere. And basically, you just pop the drive in there. This one's already got one in here. And like I said, it becomes a USB thumb drive. Now, if you had stuff on this old drive that you wanted to copy over, this is a good way to do it. Now that you've got Windows running on here, you pop this into the computer, plug it into the USB drive, and then you can copy files over. That's assuming that you didn't have your old hard drive encrypted, but you can just grab any files that you needed, you know, documents, downloads, whatever it is, pictures, and uh, drag them onto your new computer that's got the much bigger drive on it. Then after you get everything out of your old drive that you need, just do a format on it, and you've got yourself, in this case, a 256 gig SSD hard drive that you can use for all kinds of stuff. So that's about it for this one. This one worked out just fine. I'm going to let these updates finish up, and they'll be all ready for its new user. So let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions about any part of this process. Uh, last thing I have to do, obviously, is just put all these screws back in, and we'll be good to go. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, I appreciate that thumbs up. If you like to see this kind of stuff, upgrades, modifications, all kinds of weird geeky stuff, then go ahead and check out the rest of the channel, and subscribe if you find something you like. But I thank you as always for watching, and until next time, peace out and geek out.